but this is a clip of um, Ben Mahler, and he is a Fox Sports radio host, and he is discussing Naomi Osaka, discussing and, and saying that she is no hero and should have quit in the first place. In regards to Rebecca, we've talked about it at great lengths. You've covered it. Uh, in regards to her doing what was in her best interest for her mental health. Now, this topic has been politicized and weaponized. Uh, any pushback, you are called nasty names and you're evil and blah, 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 blah. This, that, whatever ism it is, they'll call you all kinds of uh, nasty names. Now, you know, that's standard operating procedure these days. We think it's just dumb. Right, that's it. But simple answer, Occam's razor, the simplest answer is the right answer. It's just dumb. All right, so because Naomi Osaka is, in her words, uncomfortable with the press, you need to change the entire system? You, that was just too much. It was making me cringe. Yes, people who have jobs, um, we all have sick days. And even in our lowly or our corporate or whatever positions we may have, they uh, have this whole thing of they control you. So the harder you work and the less sick days that you take or when you don't use your PTO, you are a better worker. And maybe after we work you hard, 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 we will raise your salary by $2 um, or we will give you a position or uh, we'll move your cubicle by the window, mm. right? Um, so with her, with people who are in the sports world, I don't know that man who was just speaking, but I know he's a commentator, right? And... With people who are in the sports world, with people who are athletes, particularly, the world, fans, they think that they own you and they have control over you. You're only there for their entertainment. And so what this man is saying is like, she has no right to take a day off because she works for us. And we need her to be entertaining to us. We don't care if she's having a bad day. Yet <clears throat> when that <clears throat> man who did his shooting spree, terrorist, a domestic terrorist, who did a shooting spree out here in Atlanta, had a bad day, they gave him grace. They gave him grace. Okay? And because she decided what matters to me, me most is my mental health, these psychopaths who believe that they have control over her, come out here and, tell, and say that she's weak. Meanwhile, she has to go out there, practice, you know, put her best on to represent America, okay? Mm -hmm. And so when we take a look at America, again, as you said, Sister Rebecca, they just want to use these athletes up for their own entertainment. And all you have to do is take a look at what happened to young people who didn't have that strong support system like Sister Naomi has, like Sister Venus had, like Sister Serena has. We're going to take care of ours. Now, if you want to take your children out there and simply capitalize off of them, damn their mental well-being, damn their health, mm. so be it. But trust and mm. believe the criticism that you're giving to us as we reach out and surround our babies and, and protect our children's mental health from this constant barrage, which we know as American capitalism, as you said, the hell with that, like it or not. But the particular video that I think of when you say that was of Venus and Serena uh, when they were kids uh, with their little beads in their hair and they were being interviewed. Um, and uh, the, I guess the uh, interviewer was asking, hey, you know, wh why do you think you're so like great or something of mm. the, the, the sort in the question? And the father was like, okay, now you pushing it because you think she's great. They're kids. Stop That's asking right. my kids. I already told you guys. He literally right. de-interjected and That's he right. made sure that you are not going to, uh, you're not going to to make my kids into women or whatever. They're kids. You're not going to ask them any type of question to ruin their minds and not believe in their greatness. I know I can do this. You know it. Very confident. I'm very confident. You say it so easily. Why? Because I believe it. What she has said, she said it with so much confidence the first time. But if you keep going on and on, and on. So we can't keep interrupting. I mean, if you want, you've got to understand that you're dealing with an image of a 14-year-old child. 
And this child will be on the plane with your whole ass and me gonna be in the grave. When she says something, we done told you what's happened. She did it with a little black head and let her be a kid. She done answered it with a lot of confidence. Leave that alone. Mm. 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 I absolutely adore and I love that clip. But he understood very early on. Not only because to her mental health, but this is a little black kid. And you are trying to woman, like you're trying to make her groan. She is a 14-year-old little black kid that is confident about her game. She said she's confident. Do not ask her why. I like, do not take away that innocence from my child. Okay? Do not tell her that she shouldn't be confident. Don't question her confidence. And especially with you being a white man. And this being a little black child, she is going to be amazing and big while you are well into your grave, sir. Don't play with mine. The protection that was right there for those girls. Oh, with their father, because he understood. He knew what America does, especially to these athletes. The mental anguish, the pressure of being a professional athlete. So when I hear Naomi speak about that, from a tennis perspective, I so appreciate, and that clip that you were talking about with, with, with her father, with her daddy, Richard Williams, when he intervened, she is a child. Don't talk to, don't talk to her like she's a grown woman. My baby girl has mm -hmm. answered you, and you're going to leave that mm -hmm. there. The hell with mm -hmm. what this, this critic on the sideline, who probably ain't never competed in anything worthy of a championship ever in his life, but can sit mm -hmm. there and try to draw... Uh, criticism against Sister Naomi.